Morning, church. Morning. And welcome to Saturday of Holy Week. This is the day in which Jesus' body laid in the tomb, where it was guarded by Roman soldiers with a big rock in front of the tomb. And all throughout the day on Saturday, that's what happened. That was a Sabbath day. Now, I told you a little bit about Nicodemus and Joseph of Arimathea yesterday. So I want to tell you they were members of the Sanhedrin, the court that had condemned Jesus to death. And for a time, both of these men had lived a secret life as followers of Jesus, afraid to make a public profession of faith because of their positions within the Jewish community. Similar, both were deeply affected by Christ's death. They boldly came out of hiding, risking their reputations in their lives because they had come to realize that Jesus was indeed the long-awaited Messiah. Together, they cared for Jesus' body and prepared it. For death. And while Jesus' physical body laid in the tomb, Christ had paid the penalty for our sins by being the perfect sacrifice, a spotless sacrifice. He conquered death both spiritually and physically, securing our eternal salvation. 1 Peter 1 verses 18 and 19 says this, For you know that God paid a ransom to save you from the empty life you inherited, from your ancestors and the ransom he paid was not mere gold or silver he paid for you with the precious lifeblood of christ the sinless spotless lamb of god and on saturday this is where jesus went and took all the old testament saints to heaven with him where they joined the thief that hung on the cross with jesus on friday night you can read all about saturday's events in the gospel of matthew chapter 27, verses 62 through 66, Mark chapter 16, verse 1, Luke chapter 23, verse 56, and in the Gospel of John chapter 19, verse 40. Well, I hope you have a blessed Saturday, and we'll see you tomorrow on Easter Sunday.